Well, it's summer and for hundreds of school children, this means nine weeks of doing nothing. While well, for others, it means going to one of the summer camps across the island. A CBC team visited some of these camps earlier today to get an idea of what they're offering. Sports camps seem to be the most popular choice this summer. Over 800 children are expected to participate in this year's Brewster's Trust soccer camp at Queen's College. CEO of the Trust, Alex Bernard, says the numbers continue to increase since its introduction some three years ago. We also offer hot lunch every day, we offer fruit breaks in the afternoon, we do two classroom sessions, one is the laws of the game, the other one is, uh, is a kind of a general literacy combined with football, like mathematics combined with football, and we also will have futsal sessions, which is uh, indoor soccer. Fernando Best, a parent, described the four-week camp as one of the better ones, saying he's satisfied with the benefits he gets for his money. It's a great camp for the kids, for the parents, when you could get chingars, socks, books, shirt, pants, and you only got to pay $50, it's a bargain. And get back $20 if you come every day, every party pay every day. This is the, a wonderful camp.
Kevin speaking to Kim Tonia and Amanda. Amanda, how has this camp been going for you? It is going good because we're practicing for the league that's coming up, the 25th of August. Mm -hmm. So it's good, yeah. It's hot though. Well, it's summer. Kim Tonia, what about you? Um, I ain't really playing the football right now. I just helping out with assisting a little boy by the name of Shama mm -hmm. that has like a, a slight disability. So it good though, cause help me get off a little bit, man. <laughs> well, I want to get to that point. You got a bird in your hand. What are you doing, a bird in your hand, Amanda? Being naughty, are you? Just actually saying my friends with the work on a friend for it. How did you get the bird in the first place? Catch it. Just like that? <laughs> I, I um, follow it and then I pick it up. Okay, pick that good habits, I guess. Taking care of animals is not a bad thing. Okay, you've been enjoying your experience. Nevertheless, just being among the, the, the crowd, what kind of vibe have you been getting? Um, really, truly, it, it really good. That's the truth. It really good because, like, it helping me to, like, open my mind towards children. And I really like children, so it really helping me into getting into little children right now. Thank you very much, Kim Tonia and Amanda. Okay, we're speaking to Lance and Nehemiah from the 10 to 14 age group. Let's start with you, um, Lance. How has it been for you? Good. What have you enjoyed most about this camp? Football, climbing the trees, the people are nice, the coach is nice, really nice. What did you do at this camp that you would like to remember for the rest of your life? Anything special? Nothing at all? You didn't dribble anybody? You didn't score any goals? No, I'm not very good. How long have you been playing football? A year. Okay, so you're getting used to the game now. You're liking it more and more every time you play? Yes. Well, here's hoping you continue to grow in the sport, huh? Thank you. Nimaya, what about you? Um, well, it was good. Um... I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. What position do you play? Midfield. Okay, so you enjoy the, the back and forth movement, huh? Yes, please. Are you a goal scoring midfielder or you're just someone who, who passes off the ball and assists and set up plays? How do you how do you how do you do? I assist and set up plays. You haven't scored any goals for this campus yet? I scored one. Okay, who's your favorite player in the world? Messi. Why Messi? Mm, I just like him. Okay, how have you found this camp overall? I found it good. God willing, you're going to be back next year? Yes, please. Thank you very much, Neymar.